एक्स्ट्रा टाइम This is something new for everyone, not least for you. Um, with the captaincy as well for the first time, what have you got planned for this next chapter in English cricket? Um, well, I think first and foremost, I think the, it's great that cricket is back. Uh, it's great that cricket is back on TV, um, and you know I know everybody's been craving it. Um, you know we've been in lockdown now for two weeks and. Um, I've been very impressed with the way that the lads have just cracked on um, with the amount of change um, that we've had to deal with, um, and I think tomorrow couldn't come at a better time. You know, everybody's um, ready and raring to go. Um, there's only so much training you can really do before before you start uh, not getting bored, but start um, getting a bit frustrated that. Um, you're not out on the park, um, but today's been a really good day. I think everybody's got back into their routines that they normally would do the day before a test match, um, and everybody's just really, really excited about what tomorrow's going to bring. Home advantage can be particularly key. I think probably we saw that as much as any last summer, didn't we? How are you aiming to replicate your performance, given the fact there won't be the Barmy Army and others cheering you on? No, I look at the end of the day. I think. It, you know, you've got to look at it as, as we're walking out on the field to, to represent our country. And, um, you know, when you've got the three lions on your chest, um, you know, the, there's nothing more sort of, you know, you can't feel any more prouder in, um, you know, given the sport that we play. Um, you know, I know there's not going to be anybody in the crowd to, um, to hear or get that energy from, but, you know, we know we've got hundreds of thousands of people watching us from around England who... Uh, who wants to see us do well. So, um, you know, I don't have any issue with anybody using that as an excuse to not get up for this game. Um, you know, it's been 14, 15 weeks without us playing. So, um, you know, I think the fact that we're out on the field playing for, for our country, um, you know, you don't get that feeling just because there's nobody in the stands. Um, so, yeah, there you go. Just one final one, a cheeky one perhaps. Um, you're coming up against uh, a fellow captain, fellow all-rounder. You're ranked as the best two by the ICC all-rounders in the game. Um, is there anything from Jason Holder's game that you'd perhaps like to steal and add to your own? No. <laughs> I don't think he would say the other way either. Um, I think the fact that we're both all-rounders, we, we understand um, the crucial role that we play. Uh, we've got a chance to influence... Um, the game with the ball and the bat and you know that gives us two opportunities um, which is the best thing about being the all-rounder is that you know if one thing doesn't go quite well then you've always got a chance to, to affect the game with the other skill um, you know I always love playing against the West Indies it's always a very very competitive series that we play in um, but no I don't, I don't really look at it like that um, I just look at it to, to go out and, and try and perform against whoever's in front of me um, how important is this uh, match to lift the spirits of the nation after such a long lockdown? Yeah, I think it's massive. Um, you know, not only is, is cricket back from an international point of view, but, you know, obviously it's back from a, uh, from a club cricket side as well. Um, you know, I know everybody's been, been craving this from a player's point of view, but I also think from a spectator's view and, and a fan's point of view, this is... Um, this is a massive occasion tomorrow for, for a lot of people around England. Um, and, you know, we know we've got that responsibility on our shoulders um, to go out and do justice for all those people. And, you know, it sort of creeps back into that question about the crowd before where, you know, we can't use that as an excuse to, to not feel up for this game um, because we know we've got hundreds of thousands of people following us and, and wanting us to do well um, back home watching us on TV. Just to follow up, if I can, how much of a blueprint do you think this could be for other sports, you know, like tennis, to, the, the very tight controls and so on around, um, around the teams to, to, to prove that sport can operate in a time of COVID? Yeah, massive. I mean, look, there's obviously a lot of rules and regulations that have been put in place for this to happen. Um, and we've respected all of them. Um, it is very, very different. but. Um, you know, over the last two weeks, we've been um, handling that very well as a team and, 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 and as individuals. Um, 
not only have we done a, a great job, but I also feel that the people who have um, gone out a limb, you know, in terms of the hotel staff to, to make sure everything's catered for us, um, they've also been fantastic. And, um, you know, I feel as if there's been a lot of respect shown um, from both sides to, to making sure that this works. Because, um, you know, if you get one thing wrong, um, it might, you know, blow this whole getting sport back onto the, to the radar of people that might put that further back. Um, so we're just really great that we've been given this opportunity to be able to get back out on the field and, and we'll still be doing everything that we can to make sure that we don't mess it up. Uh, ben, last time out against West Indies, of course, West Indies won the series. Uh, Jason Holder, speaking to TalkSport a couple of weeks ago, said that he felt that that England side was a side in, um, in a state of flux, essentially. Uh, there was a few players trying to stake their claim within the side. Fast forward a year and a bit, how do you compare this England side that's coming up against the West Indies with the one that did lose last time out? Um, and what changes or uh, how are you going to affect a, a different result um, in this three-match series? I mean, I think if you look at how we are placed now as a team, I think there's a lot, of, there's a lot more... Um, there's a lot more public clarity um, with everybody. Where there's, we have an identity as a test team. Um, you know, whereas time's gone past, there's sort of been, um, you know, a few lads might have felt under pressure with guys sort of knocking the door down in a negative way. Whereas now we try and look at that from a positive point of view, that there's competitions for place for places in the team. Um, and if, if you're not performing well as a player, you know, there's someone who's, who's right behind you to come in, which is, which is a great place to be at, especially as an international side. Um, but as I said, you know, I feel we have, a, have an identity now as a test team. And for us going forward, it's about building on that identity. And, um, you know, we have a goal of becoming the best team in the world. Um, so we're building towards that. You've spoken about taking advice from some of the more experienced players on the field. Will you also seek some advice from Joe Root? Have you, have you been in contact? Could you imagine flicking him a text, you know, the night before the game or uh, after, you know, a, a tough day or something just to see what he's thinking about, uh, about the match? Or is, is it Ben Stokes' captain and, and Joe Root's just dealing with more important matters with the birth of his second child? Yeah, no, look, I've, I said um, when I first got asked, I'm going to be very open to, um, to opinions from people. And just because Joe's not here, um, that doesn't mean I'm not going to use him. You know, Joe's always been very open and willing to, um, to advice from, um, from players. Um, so um, I think I'll be stupid to, to go away from that. Um, we've got so much experience in this team that, um, as I said, it would be silly not to lean on that if I feel like I need some advice. Um, it's been, but with Joe, obviously with his personal situation, it's, it's been sort of letting him deal with that. Um, so I haven't been on him too much. Um, but I'm sure once the test match starts, I know for a fact that he'll be at home watching. Um, and, you know, I know that the phone, uh, his phone will always be um, available for me to, to get in contact with him if I need to. Uh, how are the bowlers coping with the new saliva rules? And do you have any other alternative plans to make the ball swing? Um, to be honest, the non-saliva on the ball has actually not really been an issue. We've, we've seemed to have, you know... I mean, it is. It obviously, it's a very natural thing to do in cricket, which is to shine the ball, and put saliva on it. The the hardest thing that we found in the warm-up game was giving our hats and jumpers to the umpire. Um, you know, that was just was just so natural to do. And then uh, the umpire said, "No, we can't take it off here." But we've been um, we found that sweat has helped us look after the ball. It's not as easy to do as you know it was a year ago, um, where you could use saliva. Um, but I think that, you know, looking after the ball now is, is almost going to be another skill to add, you know, whether you're a batter or a bowler, because you want the ball to be able to move in the air, whether that be conventional or reverse swing. Um, so there's been a lot of thought and different methods from us to, to try and find the way to best look after the ball. But, um, you know, we found that putting sweat on it um, is a very, very good substitute for saliva. I guess you must have had quite a lot of advice about captaincy since you were named as captain for this match. I just wondered, what's the best advice you've had and who gave it to you? 
I haven't had much advice. So there's been a lot of opinions flying around. <laughs> um, but uh, do you know what the best message that I've received was when I got my photos done um, yesterday in the blazer. Uh, Ruti just left a message on the um, on the hanger. Said, "Do it your way." Hit the subscribe option and the bell icon to get all the exclusive sports videos on extra time.